Well, for a lot of people, trading from home full-time without a job and working for yourself as a trader is a dream for a lot of people. Our guest today is Chris Dunn. He does that as a full-time trader. Chris, thanks for being here. Thanks, Tim. Glad to be here. Well, what is it about being a full-time trader that you like? What about the lifestyle is good for you? I just love traveling. And honestly, I mean, we can trade from anywhere in the world with a high-speed connection. And in the past couple of years, we've spent months in South America, Central America, Europe. And, you know, there's really no other business opportunity that I know of that gives us that kind of flexibility. And how about trading in after hours now? There almost isn't an after hours, and it's getting more and more so. Uh, do you find trading opportunities around the clock? Sure. I mean, especially in Forex, you know, you can trade 24 hours. But for me, I, I typically focus on the morning session, U.S. time. And on average, I'm trading about two hours a day. So it gives the flexibility of time as well to, to go into and do other things with our time. Trading from home, uh, which is where most traders do it, although you can travel while you have this lifestyle, uh, do you find that it gets to be a lonely business or are there ways that you can get out and kind of talk with other traders? Yeah, absolutely. Trading is a lonely game if you're trading at your house or in your office by yourself. But with technology now, you can hop online and literally trade with dozens or hundreds of people just like you're sitting right next to them. And what about a chat room or something like that? Do you use those kinds of things to, to network with other traders? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm in a chat room pretty much five days a week. Um, I think it can be helpful, but it can also be a distraction. You've got to make sure that you're in a room with the right kind of people who are really looking at the same methodology or the same approach. And you don't want to have conflicting views, especially while you're trading the live market. Because if, if you have a, a perspective or an opinion about something and somebody else comes in and, and gives a, an opposing opinion, that might throw you off. So. I know for a lot of people, when they were working as a career in a job, they're constantly working. Working from 8 to 5 means you're working on something. As a trader, though, working may just be waiting around for the trade. How did you kind of make that transition to have that patience to, to wait for the right trade? Um, well, I think it's really important to identify what a trade is for you. You know, if you're, if you're trading a purely discretionary strategy and, and you don't really have something defined, I think it's easy just to kind of jump in and jump out and, and want to participate. Whereas if you have really defined rules, then that can really bring back that need to just jump in at any given moment. So having rules that are defined, probably written down, are what help you keep that discipline? Absolutely. How about a plan? Do you trade with a plan? Absolutely. I think you know there's a couple different parts of a plan. Obviously, you have a trading business plan. For me, I have a trading action plan, which is you know kind of step-by-step step how we execute a trade, how we manage a trade, and then what I do to take profit and ultimately get in and out of a sequence. And then also I have routines, pre-trading routine, during trading routine, and then post-trading routine. And I think it's important to, to stay disciplined and focused on that and, and do the same routines every single day. Chris, thanks for your time. Thanks a lot, Tim.